Yo, we big chilling around this bitch. Fuck, nigga. Yo. Yo, nigga. Yo, nigga. Big chill. Big chilling, nigga. Adam2210 accountability. I just spit all on my keyboard. Don't mind that shit if you saw that. By playback. Uh, yes. I don't know the situation, but... Um... We are gonna watch this. And if you wanna come check out the stream, this is what I'm streaming. I'm streaming this on Twitch, nigga. Come check this shit out, bro. Come be up in the part of the crew, nigga. Come be a part of the gang, son. Come on. Be a part of that gang, bro. Facts. Get into this, bro. Bro, Adam22, man, over at No Jumper, he's going through it, man. A lot of scandals, a lot of things that need to be addressed. I was 16, f***ing girls my age, right? Adam was f***ing girls that was the same age as me when I was 16. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? She was 19 when you met her? Yeah, the you... article says it. So, but what did you say? I said that I spoke to her on the phone when she was 16 before I realized that she was... All right, she well, was that's, how we, that's yeah. how we catch a lot that's, of us. That's how we she catch them. She didn't even know that she was doing something fucked up. But it don't even matter, but that's how but we that's catch them. You... About the fact, and this is 2008, and I think I wrote about it. I made a joke about the fact that I, you know, had been pretty interested in her before I realized that she was underage, right? Oh, man. Uh, so, apparently, uh, Adam22, it seems like he's trying to pivot away from hip-hop um, content. In the process of doing so, he spoke um, pretty ill about some of his co-workers, some of the ones who stood ten toes down for him throughout the past couple of years as he's making the pivot. Uh, this got wind back to some of the co-workers. Mm. Uh, then they decided that, you know, we're going to stand in unity and, and leave. Once this Richard Spencer shit happens, I go on at the end of the day and I say, hey, you know what? I'm a little upset with Adam. You feel me? I don't fuck with that. It's a lot of minorities that work in the building. I don't think a person like that, whether you think they're reformed or not, should get platforms. Or at least if you're going to do it, have somebody that's there that's able to challenge and make shit shake when it comes down to that. Mm. Next thing I know, I get a hit up from Adam about Thursday or Friday. Adam says, I think in order for us for us to have a friendship and us to remain friends, I think that you should stick to Wednesday, do the food show, and do the news, and no longer be a part of Tuesday. Uh, the problem, though, Damn. is that what people, people are acknowledging is, A, Adam never sat down with any of his um, black co-workers and told them, like, yo, I'm not really feeling this. We should move in a different direction. Uh, B, his black co-workers went out and started their own platform and there seems to be some jealousy there because Adam felt like, oh man, like y'all y'all are doing the same type of content, y'all gonna be encroaching on what I want. However, Adam never extended himself to have their platform on, on No Jumper. And then seeing more importantly, um, a lot of like personal information about how much money some uh, some people getting paid, bad jokes being told, et cetera, et cetera. The reason why this is interesting is because we had to we had to end peer to peer. And so uh, I think there is um, a discrepancy between working with somebody as a co-worker and also as a friend right and so they they built a relationship beyond no jumper mm -hmm. it became a little bit more <gasps> personal and so when he was trying to make the pivot i think adam struggled with that mm -hmm. and instead of being open and honest and upfront it came with a bunch of backstabbing i'm listening while i'm talking. doing so so that's the other problem that adam brought in some co colorful characters one of which um was a neo-nazi and then he said some he said was going through back and forth and he was debating destiny instead of adam pressing him on some of the negative things that he said the same way that many people feel as if like the platform presses young black entertainers about the things that they do mm -hmm. instead of pressing them on to him on that he just allowed him to get off rhetoric and say that he's a changed man and oh i'm different and that's not who i am even though some of the events that question about this gentleman happened just like a year or two ago like two three years ago and on top of that while having destiny over um destiny referred to adam 22 as a slave owner I was what the fuck yours, i had to look up like 30 things so i thought you were inviting me to fuck you and you thought girlfriend. i was black when you know well yeah that too also <laughs> Well, because everyone said Adam does hip hop, so I didn't know you were just the slave owner oh, and not the. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Listen, I'm here to rep a. Uh, okay. I like how. Oh, the like, bleep that. I uh, I thought I was like, you know, when like sometimes you don't get it. Yeah. I was like in a state of I don't get it. Are they laughing at the joke or was this like an awkward laugh? Because right, that's like a sound like an awkward. awkward then laugh. I thought like Adam is too direct of a human to pretend to laugh for another nigga though. So then that's that's what everybody's saying. The way that Adam presents himself in a lot of these interviews where he's much more direct. He wasn't direct then. So if, or if it's if it's an awkward laugh, that's not how Adam presents himself. And then looking at the neo-Nazi interview, there's no direct line of questioning. It's more 
so I'm just gonna sit back and allow these these uh these back and this back and forth between these two individuals without actually addressing this person who was saying who said very ill things to people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't think either of those clips make him racist, bro. Because for him to be racist, you have to think less of black people. I just think he's less informed when it comes to the new stuff he's trying to do. Yes. Like I think he was really yeah. informed with the music stuff so he can challenge people on things because he had a good understanding of music. But I, that'd be like if I went from making a basketball podcast to making a podcast about politics. If I don't know as much about politics, there's gonna be a lot I can't, I, you gotta learn. There's so much, there's like a fucking skill gap you have to learn before you can properly challenge people. And then you should probably wait to bring on those guests before like you're ready to have conversations like that and be like an active participant in ways that are actually useful and informative and like, no, otherwise, otherwise, you remember when we used to do a basketball podcast? And you weren't informed, yeah. At all. Yeah, I yeah. stopped doing the podcast. Yeah. But I just didn't want to be informed neither. Like I didn't care enough to want to learn about what the fuck the Timberwolves did yesterday because the team sucks. So then the follow up question behind That's that true. is, why does Adam the feel the fuck like it's justifiable for him to participate in, in certain groups or certain communities without being informed? Because people said that they felt the same way about when he was participating in hip hop, mm -hmm. and he wasn't well informed or he wasn't involved enough, so he would say certain things or make comments about um, black kids and young entertainers that came across as very ignorant. Mm -hmm. And so here he is doing it again, potentially, where he's jumping into a field of content where he's just not informed at it all. Why? I mean, why? Why would you? Because it comes across as you just trying to make as much money, grab and go as you please. That's, but isn't that what it is? That's but that's what I'm saying. So and you, isn't that so? What, like, so would that? So would that be? I well, yes. On the internet, that's but, what they do. But. By default, that would make him a culture vulture, and that's a problem that many black people have had with white people for several years. Okay, that and so that's so that's where a lot of this kind of devolves into, to where that's why some people also may believe that he's Ross's. Oh, then he said cut it out too, and they didn't cut it out. Big, he said cut it out. <laughs> Damn. But what's crazy is. He said, "Cut it out." And if I'm not mistaken, his editors are people of color, and they're like, "Uh, no, nigga, we're not." Really <laughs> nah, <color."> nah, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nah, nigga. He didn't watch it back or nothing. Which is insane, man. That's crazy. But if you if he is cutting things out of podcasts, especially when they come off as racist, then in this instance, the editors didn't cut it out. Yeah. How many other instances could there have potentially been a him saying also some racist stuff? Is also so true. like, who knows? It's difficult to indict people on that, but. Uh, it's definitely a bad look. You're right. It's really hard to put that jacket on somebody, as they say out on the West Coast. Put that jacket on. He, he, he got to wear that jacket. That's what they call it. Put that jacket on somebody off of, you know, um, potential, you know, just hearsay, comments, laughing. There's another jacket that people trying to put on him, and that's a Geppetto one. Not <laughs> Geppetto. And this right here, boy, this is... Adam? Adam was fucking girls that was the same age as me when I was 16. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? She was 19 when you met her? Yeah, the you article says it. I, you know, had been Wait, pretty just... interested. Bro? She was 19 when you I, I say, I, I read that, I was like, get fronted by a pedal. I'm like, nigga, you want too. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? You met her? Yeah, the you the article says so. I, you know, had been pretty interested in her before I realized that she was underage, right? And dude she was hooking up with but she apparently had the foresight to realize how cool i would inevitably but she apparently had the foresight to realize how cool i would inevitably end up being wink wink one night in particular we ended up talking on the phone and she went into vivid detail about how she wanted me to go to canada to see her and have sex with her i won't even bother telling you the things that she described wanting me to do to her because by the end of the story i'll actually have done all of them to her and worse the conversation left me hot and bothered to say the least now any of the ma now any of the math inclined out there are probably reading this and thinking something like she's 19 now you were 23 then how old was she then well she was 16 but come on man look at her she's 18 or 19 in most of the pics here but she didn't look much different at all back then if statutory is wrong i don't want to be right Bruh. Now, what? I make the argument that the age of consent is 16 in canada although i'm sure traveling from america to canada to have to the minor is still illegal as hell but really an argument she was stupid hot and i wanted it now how the fuck nigga what i don't know i i sincerely don't know i don't think you do man i don't know so for those who don't know that's a blog post from adam 22 himself Himself, not oh, not shit. somebody else. He himself put that blog. Oh, I'm not even tired. Yeah, man. back back in the day. To be fair, this is this is an older post. Um, and so recently, however, he got called out on it by someone else who came to the to do an interview. Called him out, said, "Yo, man, you know this is what I do for a living. I I, I address Geppettos, and you didn't say some flagrant stuff back in the day. We trying to figure out what's what's really on. What's time of it? Unfortunately, he got kicked out of the interview because Adam felt like Yo, you're trying to expose me with something that you don't know all the facts on. The one where you was messing with the sixteen-year-old girl. What do you think, Adam? The article says I'm going she was on. Nineteen when I met her. She was nineteen when you met her. Yeah. The you... article says it. So, but what did you say? I said that I spoke to her on the phone when she was sixteen before I realized that she was 
Right, she was like, that's, yeah. how that's, wow. that's how we she catch him. That's how we catch him. She didn't even know that she was doing something fucked up. But it don't even matter, but that's how that's we catch him. You feel like you were going to come on my platform and expose me, though. Like, why no, it, 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 it was just in the midst of the conversation. It was in the midst of the He didn't, hey, it's not on him on nothing. It was in the midst of the conversation. But you came on my platform and spread lies like that? Lies? Is it lies? I mean, you could have done some research and figured out any. Did you talk to her when you were 16? For like five minutes when I was 21. I'm 39. You wasn't 23? I was, I, 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 this nigga said he was 39. I'm not tripping. The nigga said like he said he's 39. I'd have been 21, right? How you don't know? How, how you don't yeah, know if you were 21? It was 20 years ago. It, it, it still happened though, but 20, we can't take bro, that back. How old is this nigga, bro? Son, how old is this nigga? Get off. Wait, wait, wait. So we really weren't able to get to the bottom of it. However, the internet does what the internet does, and they've been digging things up. And Damn. this is a sliver of what has occurred. But without a doubt, this is weird behavior at bare minimum. Yeah, so Adam Dirty nice he crazy. didn't do anything with her until she was 19. But based on the fucking blog post that he posted himself, it sure sounds like he did because he admitted to it in the blog post, unless he was lying. But then after all the years, she came out with some allegations that he did things to her against her consent. So then he released emails of her basically saying like, no, after the incident, like everything was completely fine and consensual. Look, otherwise you would have flagged it here in this email. It's a very messy situation. And I'm not gonna lie, on top of all the other things, this is probably the worst luck. By far, by, by, far. by far. And what's in, what's even crazier is allegations of Adam um, doxing this young lady as well, posting uh, photos of her, again, um, some years back, but posting photos of her um, potentially Again, all allegations, we're not 100% sure how much a lot of this is true, but Adam has openly admitted that the blog post, some he wrote, some he did, people have archived it, it's existed, so he's not denying that. He's just saying that um, he didn't interact with her until she was of age, when she was 18, 19. Here's the problem, and I think I think Joe Budden did a, a really great job at Joe explaining Button. how... Um, Weird it is. You know, you talked to her when you were 16, but somehow you waited when she was 19 to then go back to interact with her. And then the story that was told is that you went to her house, to her mom's place, had sex with her while her mom was there. And again, you waited till she was of age. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, Adam. Um, I don't know if you want a cookie from us that you waited till she was of age. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you there. But my boy, that's that's weird as fuck, nigga. That's still that's weird. weird. That is weird. That that's the equivalent of you dating a high schooler and waiting until she graduates high school to be like, oh well, she's finally legal now. <laughs> because we we now know that you already had sexual desires for her when she was 16. You God saw her like nigga. First of all, this nigga, this nigga got some nuts. If your ass is what? You said 16? Three years! Three years! Th yeah, three years! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, who in a right dunk? Like, first of all, that is some, that's stupid as hell. Nigga, you can literally find anybody else. It knows three years time, but you waited. But you waited, bro. Three years. I couldn't know, nah, bro. How you like? What was he doing in that three years time? Cause nigga could have really find somebody else in that three years time. You thought that she looked great at 16, allegedly had pictures of her when she was a minor as well, but waited until she was of age to do something. Um, yeah, legally, I guess. Yeah, legally, you're you're in good grounds. But um, for the rest of the world, we kind of view that a little strange. Bro. I'm keeping it being with you, bro. That's that's odd. That's <laughs> three odd years, is it especially crazy. when you were outlining the things that you wanted to do with her and you were willing to take, even, even if, let's just say it was a joke. Let's say you were jokingly being an edge lord back in the day on, on blog posts. Like, let's just say that's what you're doing. Let's just say that's what it was. However, you then fulfilled that fantasy when she was of age and went to her house while her mom was in the next room. Like, come on, bro, that's weird. 
Nah, I like if like That's weird. if you're having a consensual relationship with someone at the end of the day, I try not to make that none of my business. You feel me? Right, it ain't none of my it business. It's insane how ain't people tripping. feel open to say what they want when they feel like they don't have that much to lose, or when they feel like there's no consequences for it. Mm -hmm. Like regardless of how it is morally, yeah. but this is some of the wildest shit I've read in a while. It's because nobody would post some shit like this now. No, not nobody now. would post them, but like it, 10, even, even if they did, ago. they definitely not put their name to it. This nigga Adam had the the iconic Adam 22 logo and everything attached to this, right? It's, it's like, and, and then also openly admitted that that was him as well. So then the situation got messier than that because then she came out saying some of it wasn't consensual and then he was trying to prove it was by showing some emails and, you know, I, I like... I don't know, Adam. This I, is I the know. worst look, in my opinion. Yeah, this buddy. is by, by far the worst look. Everything else, yo, you dealing with business and friends it is that crazy, can get bro. messy, awkward, understandable. Um, you potentially having an awkward laugh around some other people and not being properly prepared to interview someone who is a known neo-Nazi. Not as understandable, but I'm not going to act like I went to every interview that I would have done as, like, knowing everything that I know. I'm not gonna act like that. Uh, I probably would be a bit more prepared. But is he really you know? thirty? Like, you know when he's thirty nine. This right I don't believe here, he's 39. this is crazy. Adam. I this, don't. Is, this is this is this is pretty interesting. This is pretty insane. And I don't know if you feel like you don't need to address this, um, or really like you know get knock this out the way. But that nigga wait, he posted those photos fuck. in the blog post. That nigga but, pushing but, forward. Like, like, like I said, she was look. You, you, Adam 22, a.k.a. Adam John, um, Grand's whatever, of No Jumper on, and on some shit, manipulated me into a sexual relationship when I was 16 years old, R-worded me when I was 19, doxed me with revenge porn blog months oh, after. Oh, that was the doxing for yeah. the revenge. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Which included topless photos of me as a minor. That's, oh my God. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's really fucked up. Yeah. That's probably the most fucked up part. Okay, that's, but that's, I, I don't know. Wow. Now again, these I just are, thought it was. A, I, I didn't know he posted. It. I thought it was just no. Correct. Yeah, he that posted. Yeah. No, no, he posted that. Yeah. Jesus, dude. So, um, by far, this is crazy. This is crazy. And uh, again, maybe you you feel like you don't need to address some of these things. Maybe you feel like they're just allegations. Um, maybe you feel like you you dodged a bullet because when y'all had these interactions, she was nineteen. I I just I don't know, but everything about this is odd. It's weird. I just don't know where it's coming from. And I, bro, I just I don't know what to tell you. Bro. Oh, that's very strange. Yeah, bro. no, that's strange. That's strange. That's, that's, that's devious. That's, 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 that's strange. Manipulative. That's nasty. If if true, if, again, I don't know how how true some of these parts are because, like Agent said, you went back and emailed her and tried to get some of the information together. So maybe maybe some of that isn't true. But I, then again, I would have to ask why are those photos out in the public like that? I don't I don't know, man. I just, I just don't know. Um, if the if. Adam is presenting the information to us as if like they had an amicable relationship that just so happened to stop because she, he finally realized that she was 16 and then did get back in contact with her until she was 18, 19. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have a hard time believing it. But I'm I thinking of something right now. Hard time <laughs> that from I'm thinking of something crazy right now. stopped fuck. conversing with her. And then after I stopped talking to you for like two or three years, just Some like that, strain. I'm flying out to your mom's house and fucking you next to your mom's bedroom. I have a hard time believing that, Adam. Beg, you can get that off. But then I would have to ask, what exactly happened for these doxing allegations to even come about? What happened to where you're putting out revenge prawn? What happened that you got upset that you felt like you need to post photos of her as a minor as these are allegations? If you're saying that these aren't true, even though the blog posts and the photos are there, I would like to know what happened because if you're telling us that the con the relationship was fine, I'm kind of confused. R.I.P. for no jumper, ain't it? Probably is. The numbers are kind of going right. down pretty significant. R.I.P. to no jumper. So I think many people are suggesting that he's probably going to pivot more into extreme ideology or extreme political beliefs and kind of step back from rap as time continues to progress. Damn, that's a crazy transition. <laughs> That oh, is a shit. very, very crazy transition. Oh, hey, shit. man, well, you just, you're hopping from one to the next, man. You got to make that money, man. Whatever's hot. You know, the election coming out around the corner. It's 2023, man. You know, election in a year, man. You got to get on top of that, man. got to get on top of that. And Adam looks mad awkward in those interviews because he it's very clear he doesn't know that much about it. Yo, y'all let, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This was a good video from Playback. You know I love Playback, bro. I think I'm finna watch the, the other video. Probably later on. I'm probably ain't gonna watch it after this, but... The other video they posted was the other video they posted. Then that this one. Confronting just pretty things. I'm, I might watch that. I might watch that. But good video from playback. I'ma catch y'all niggas later. Fuck out of here, bitch. Bitch.